June 2014, a day to be remembered in the history of Kano Emirates, when Nigerians learn of the sudden death of the longest serving Emir in Kano, late Al Haja Adubayeru. Two days after his funeral prayers, one of his nephews, a former Central Bank of Nigeria's governor, is appointed and subsequently coronated as Muhammad Sunusi II, contrary to expectations. A vastly experienced banker and Islamic scholar, Emir Muhammad Sunusi II quickly wins over the people of the Emirate with his charm, intelligence and oratorical skills, while the eldest son of the late Emir goes into exile. I have decided that so long as the Emir of Kano speaks, there is nothing like an uncontroversial topic. Even if I say build a bridge, there will be something, uh, some interpretation to that that will make it a, a topic of controversy. Shortly after his re-election, Governor Ganduje drops a strong hint of an initiative aimed at creating an enabling environment that will bring the government closer to the people, especially the rural communities. This is uh, an arrangement now that will make the system more efficient because the issue of education, the issue of security, the issue of agriculture, they are too many and they are too heavy to be allowed out to one centralized traditional system. So we assume and we know the present structure will certainly promote security, will certainly promote education. More employment will be available when we promote agriculture at the grassroots. One of the governor's first aggressive reforms begins with the signing into law the Emir's Appointment and Deposition Act 2019 to create four more additional first class emirates. <laughs> governor Abdullahi Ganduje had earlier explained that the creation of the new emirates is not aimed at settling scores with anyone. So far, Emir Senusi has maintained silence over the drama trailing the new Emirates creation. But it would be interesting to hear what he says when he eventually speaks. From Kanu, Idris Chiprin, reporting for Channel Television News.